right then. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, hello, wherever and whoever you are. My name is Paul. I do the daily teasers. You've possibly seen those float past. But I also talk about films I've seen. I've seen uh, Color Out of Space just recently. I also talk about TV shows I've watched. As you may or may not know, I'm something of a Doctor Who fan. And frankly, I've been watching the recent re-release of the classic Doctor Who story, the classic second Doctor story, The Faceless Ones. It's been, as most of the episodes are missing, it's been reanimated and been re-released. It's something I'd like to summarise for you now. Opening with a traditional recap, episode 5 opens by showing us a chameleon flight landing on an orbiting chameleon satellite about 150 miles above the Earth's surface. It shows us Captain Blade ordering his assistant to disembark their cargo, a set of miniaturised humans that the aliens are going to use as, as disguises. Unknown to either Blade or his assistant, Jamie, Fraser Hines, has heard all this and is intent on what he doing whatever he can about it. He's smuggled himself on the flight, if you hadn't guessed. Smuggled himself on and captured and taken before the director. Back at Gatwick, the Commandant has become increasingly convinced by the Doctor's story, only being finally persuaded when the false Meadows, uh, George Selway, is revealed to be an alien and explains how the aliens are disguised, by whom, and where they end up. Episode 6 recaps episode 5 and then moves on showing the doctor, Patrick Troughton, and Nurse Pinto, uh, Madalena Nickel, arriving at the chameleon base and trying to talk their way into the satellite's accommodation area, only to be foiled again by the villainous Captain Blade. Back on Earth, the Commandant is in full, complete, utter action. He knows some of his staff are chameleon duplicates. He knows the human originals are somewhere in Gatwick. And that the only thing to do that he could get away with is to find the bodies and blackmail the chameleons when they get in touch. What the Commandant doesn't know is that he may have help. The Doctor is giving the aliens something of a headache. Now, in conclusion, have I enjoyed these two episodes? And have I enjoyed the story that the Faceless One is trying to tell me? Yes, I bloody well did. Now, I grant you, I, there are flaws in the story. Um, it's the last storyline for companions Ben and Polly, Michael Craze and Annette Wilkes, Wills, for my liking. It's their last story. We don't get to see as much of them as we do. To give the show its due, to give Doctor Who its due, it's something it's tried to remedy in later years. Not always successfully, I believe. Louise Jameson wanted a, a big bang exit for Leela over the years instead of wimply falling in love and staying on Gallifrey. But at least I will give the faceless one credit in the, the Piers episode, Ben and Polly's farewell in episode 6, sees Fraser Hines as Jamie wiping his eyes quite sadly. Um, there's another flaw I noticed, and this is possibly me being me. Um, episode 5, about 10 minutes in, Pauline Collins is in this particular series, playing a character called Samantha Briggs. And in episode 5, Pat Troughton makes the mistake of calling Pauline Collins' character Sarah. It's all right, Sam. Um, when she's actually called Samantha. It's in all three versions that's on the Blu-ray. The colour animation, the black and white animation, and the telly snap one. I don't know what went on, but I believe it's a mistake made by Troughton in the original recording that the crew never had a chance to correct or redo or overdub. It therefore went out in the original recording, and whoever recorded this particular version 
caught the mistake and then passed on the tapes to the reconstruction crew. It's it's on all three, so that's why I'm thinking it's a mistake with the soundtrack, with the actual recording. It's a mistake made in the episode itself as broadcast. But it's it's entertaining, but it's a minor flaw. They really are are things that didn't spoil my enjoyment too much. If anything, they're like flaws in a gemstone. They're little things you can spot that add to the thing's beauty. And that's what The Faceless Ones is. It's a beautiful, beautiful little story. It's a slow-burning little mystery that is a pleasure to watch. It's an old-fashioned detective story with a with pacing and characters that are appropriate to the era and unique to the era and still very riveting. It's it's an old school Doctor Who story and the reconstruction only adds to that. It only adds that adds to the pleasure and the beauty of it. And adds Easter eggs. There's a couple of those around as well. So you can't spot the magpie electricals one. But either way like those hidden easter eggs the faceless one is a good detective story it's a police procedural it's a mystery story and it's a beautiful thing to watch i think i think whether you're a fan of doctor who or not a fan the faceless one the faceless ones is a story that's going to appeal to all of us go watch it let me know what you think of it. Please leave me a comment. And above all, thank you for watching. Take care. Have fun. Be good.